I do agree with what you said about the term high value man. Um, but I think if you're a high value woman, if you, if you, you know, let's face it, a man is there to protect and provide. If yep. you don't need the provide, if you can provide for yourself, and I'm not talking about like a Gucci bag, a <laughs> Chanel bag, I'm talking yep. about like provide me safety, provide me something biologically I need. Yeah. If you can't do those two things, then you're worthless to me. And so mm -hmm. I'm not going to put up with you like fucking around because I genuinely don't think there's a such thing as a high value woman because mm -hmm. all women have value. So therefore, it'd be kind of ridiculous to say that there's high value women up there out there. And what I mean by that is a woman can only claim she's high value if she has a high value man that co-signs her. She can only become high value by taking a high value man's last name because mm -hmm. becoming high value is very difficult to attain. And I argue that all women have value, not like men. There's a lot of low value men. So some like mid-level men, and then there's some high value men, but all women to some degree have value because a woman that's average can absolutely bat five levels above her and get a high value man, but it can't work the other way around. So since it's that, since those sexual dynamics are so polarized, I don't think there's such thing as a high value woman unless there's a high value man co-signing her. I disagree. Okay, sure. Because some people think that Andrew Tate is a high value man, but I wouldn't Talk consider to him to be a high value man. So if he <laughs> was to co-sign me as a high value woman, it would mean nothing to me because I don't see him in that light. Okay. Okay. Um, Hurrah! Fair, fair uh, assessment, but uh, this is where I disagree with you. Being high value doesn't necessarily deal with morality. Does he have status? Does he have respect from peers? Does he have respect? I mean, in his case, he has respect worldwide. He has financial success, right? We could take it a step further. Trained martial artist, four-time kickboxing world champion. Yep. On paper, he's absolutely high value. Yep. Now, um, and any woman that gets with him is going to acquire the Tate last name and be high value as a byproduct of it. So though she, he might not be your cup of tea, it's mm -hmm. pretty irrefutable that he is a high value man. Mm. It's because he's high value in the metrics that make a man have value in the world. So a man's value is 1000% determined by the, by the impact that they create in the world. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. A man's last name only carries value if he's able to change other people's lives to some degree. That's why people that are lawyers, doctors, celebrities to a degree, et cetera, they have, they have value and status from their accomplishments. And that is where their value comes from. People respect them, et cetera. So men, we acquire value much differently than women do. We acquire it through status. You guys acquire it through beauty. And then being able to get a man that has status. Now, some women are able to go ahead and get status on their own, right? You have three um, PhDs, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, PhD. Ed Pretty educated, cool. et cetera. But unfortunately, that's the equivalent to a man being extremely metrosexual, extremely good looking, but broke. Because even though he's attractive and he's beautiful, that is not a commodity that women seek. Just like a woman that has education, status, and income that is not a commodity that men generally No, see. you're right. Because in Miami, I just moved to Miami. I mean, literally, I go to like, you can go to any store in the mall, Forever 21, H&M, Zara. The women working at the cash register literally are like the most beautiful women you've ever seen in your life. I'm like, yeah. are you like yeah. a Victoria's Secret, like Brazilian <laughs> supermodel? And she's high value. She's not educated. She's well, working. she's not high value unless she gets a high value man. Yeah. Well, yeah. she will, though, mm -hmm. looking like that. Yeah, if she can. If she can land him and get his last name, because they could get fucked. But can she get his last name? Yeah. Totally. And, and here's the thing. I'm really happy that I have you guys on the panel because you guys are higher IQ. Let me tell you from experience of being here, most women are absolutely retarded in Miami. I can't have discussions like this Trust me, with no. them. You're very educated, well-spoken, et cetera, able to articulate your points. You, from a cognitive level, are better than most women. However, a lot of these women that you're way smarter than will beat you with meeting with, to get one of these guys because they're more, they might be more attractive or younger because mm -hmm. men typically don't care about a woman's education or status. Even though you work really hard to acquire these things, these are male metrics of success, unfortunately, which is why I tell successful women all the time is like, that's great. It's awesome. You can have a great conversation with a guy. He might be intrigued, but are you going to beat out the 21 year old model? 